Uh, that one's pretty cool. That one's pretty. Yeah, get that one. Yeah, yeah that one's cool. You got it? Go ahead. Two hands. All right, you got All two. All right. Good? All right. Just grab yeah. one. All right. I'm going to just grab one, you guys. Like, is that okay? Oh, my God. You can literally just grab them with your hands. Yeah. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Blake is out again. Today you guys we're here with Josh and we are at Summerland Fish Farm and we're about to go tour this whole entire farm. It's absolutely insane. I already saw everything inside of it and you guys are gonna be mind blown on this whole thing. But before we go see some fish, we're gonna show you and talk to you guys about the history of this whole entire place and how this place started. So listen up. What's up, Phil? Hey, how are you? Good, how Welcome are you? Welcome to our farm. Thank you, thank you. I'll give you a little history. We started in 1950 on North Kendall Drive when it was a dead end street. Okay. And we moved to this present location in 1970. Wow. And we've been operating, we were mainly a wholesale ornamental tropical fish farms. I took a little vacation and leased it out for a few years and then I, I, I came back in the business. Josh walked in one day and says, let's open retail. So. Got Lo and behold, it. here I am at 75 years old, still in the tropical fish <laughs> business, which are. has been my whole life, basically, awesome. uh, since I was four and a half years old when my dad started. Heck yeah. And uh, I'm going to take you through a few things. I, I always love to talk to my dad because my dad was an artist okay. and in New York, and he used to do silk screens like shirts like we're wearing now. Yeah. But when he came down here, there was like 100,000 people in Dade County, and he couldn't make a living except three months out of the year when the tourists came down. Got it. So little by little, he went to, into his hobby, which he had done since he was a boy. And in New York, he had to rent an apartment next to where my mom and dad lived because he had 40 fish tanks and yeah. they couldn't all fit in the house. Wow. So that, that is the basic thing. And my dad loved colors. So he would breed live bearers and try to do different color variations. Okay. And the two that we're most proud of is the Gold Dust Molly Okay. This actually was a gold flake because it doesn't have quite as much gold. And as we kept inbreeding and inbreeding and breeding, we came up with a solid gold molly. This is TFH Magazine in 1988. Wow. And in 1972 is when we first came out with the gold dust molly. But my dad was in TFH quite a few times. This is when the hyphen, platys, and variatus were very popular. I'll show you a few more things here. A lot of interesting this facts. Is, this is an article on my dad that was in the Miami Herald. Oh, wow. And I'm going to drift into the 24 karat molly. All right. Now, in, in the 1980s, after messing around with the gold dust molly, and this is out of the Yucatan molly with the small top fin, my dad kept inbreeding and inbreeding and breeding and breeding. We came out with the 24 karat molly out of the Yucatan. I'll show you some of them in the pools a little bit later on. All right. Then we crossed them back to the Latapina, and we would go up to the shows in Tampa where the T, uh, uh, Fish Farmers Association was, and we would win first, second, third place in the Mollies every year. And that's what that, those are? That's what all these trophies are. They didn't have, that's they awesome. They only had angelfish and better trophies. Yeah. And uh, that's why that's on there. But And I'm going to show you the, the show winner. Oh, wow. For one year. That's, this is the, that's when I was born. 1997. Really? Yeah, 25 years ago. Yeah. So <laughs> th this is the winner of the show in Tampa. They don't do this show with the fish farmers anymore. But, uh, and, and I named the fish. We were sitting down one, ni uh, one night before we released it, knowing that we had about 10,000 of them. Wow. And uh, we, there's, you can't get a patent on a color variation. Got it. Or a finish. Got so it. So we knew once we released them, people would start breeding, breeding them. them. So one night we're sitting there. And I, and I came up with, hey, why don't we call it uh, like 12 karat molly? And I said, oh, no, let's go for broke. Let's call it the 24 karat molly. There you are. You can get a price list from China or Hong Kong or anywhere now, yeah. and they are on it. That's awesome. We've made the whole world of those golden mollies. This was a, uh, a magazine that the Tropical Fish Farmers did. That's my dad and I. And the reason That's I'm good. showing you that is because this is before plastic. Oh, wow. And notice we have these squat metal cans. Okay. And the industry was mainly local because you couldn't put oxygen in them, you couldn't <laughs> ship them. When the plastic bag came out in the 60s, it revolutionized the industry. We were able to pack in plastic bags with water and pure oxygen inside a cardboard box to start home container. But it did create a problem. 
it opened up the Far East for competition. Got it. And now they can out price us. I mean, I could bring betters in from the Far East for 60 cents each. Yeah. Here you can't breed them for anywhere near that. Got it. So it revolutionized the industry, yet it created competition. Of course. And uh, we went from over 400 farms in Florida down to the association. Now it's got like less than 70 farms left. So no, I'm really, really big and it dropped back down again. Yeah, it was, uh, tropical fish was the number three hobby in the United States at one time, next to photography and stamp collecting. Yeah. And uh, of course now computers and all the games yeah, are of course. on there. Bleeding Heart Platy, I'm just going to show you a few of these real quick. That's the 24 karat Molly. Thanks, gorgeous. Uh, 1989. And I'm going to show you a few other things. As I said, my dad was an artist and he did a portrait of Luciano Pavarotti. Oh, wow. There's Luciano and my dad and the thing. That's cool. And it's a it's an interesting thing. You can, you know obviously you yeah. edit some of this stuff out. Yeah, yeah. I can, I, I can go on for hours. <laughs> uh, but I want to show you this. My dad not only was an artist and he loved tropical fish, but he was a writer as well. And he always wanted to promote the hobby. So in the early '60s, he came out with a little magazine. It's like a notebook that folds in half and it's called the ichthyophile. Yeah. Ichthyophile meaning fish lovers. And this is the way it was. There were, I think, 33 issues before he stopped producing it. And they folded in half like that. Interesting. And inside was breeding directions oh, wow. or a story that he made up. This and is all from your dad. This is all my dad, Bleeding Heart Platy oh, from, from Mexico. Interesting, awesome. interesting fish, but not commercially because the males were always runts and the females were big. Got it. So nobody really breeds that anymore. Wow. And in in here is one of them on mollies. Yeah. Uh, on sailfin mollies. We used to catch it when we came down. That's how we started. We would catch fish out of the canals. Yeah. And we would catch green sailfin mollies by the thousands. Yeah. Flagfish. Fungulus chrysotis, which is like a killifish, blood fins, and mosquito fish. Now most of that is all gone due to poisons from the farms Fertilizer. or predators. Got it. And uh, that's why we have a program here. If you have a fish, uh, like an Oscar or, or an arowana or something, then what we would do is rehouse it here instead of have you dump it into the canal. You guys hear that, right? Don't release your pets. Bring them here. Yeah. So uh, let's see what else we got in the grab bag. And, Speaking before plastic, this is the way you would buy your tropical fish at a five and ten cent store or wow. uh, or a, a so this could hold water. This would hold water. They were they were lined more with plastic Got back it. in those days. Yeah, but obviously you wouldn't sell a twelve inch koi because <laughs> there's only one size bigger yeah. for Chinese food. So that's pretty much it. So I guess we're going to tour the farm and see what we got going on outside. All right. And, um, you know, we're Let's do here. It. Josh is, uh, is the expert on most fish. And uh, I'm a, I am I was a live bear breeder my whole life. So Sounds now we good. drift into a bunch of other stuff. So, let's so go I see appreciate some fish. you coming out and uh, take a walk around. Let's go have some fun. Thank you. Yeah. Look how many fish. Most of these are here we bred on the farm. Oh, yeah. All the long things for sure. A lot of fun. It's a little, little a lot skin of fun. Huge, you know, right there. See all the little guppies and mollies yeah. here with them. They eat them, that's fine. If they don't, then I, you'll see some sail from mollies for yeah. in here as well. Check out this farmer crab out to go to. And all these big female mollies by the end of the season will be male. So yeah. They change sex. People don't believe it, but it, it's true. Look at I this. just spin these out. I have so many. I had like 6,000 fish here, but they won't grow yet. Oh my god. You can literally just grab them with your hands. Yeah. I was in Japan one time. And yeah. They took me to a lake and floating food. Now they'll be all at the top of them as floating food. Wow. And the fish that were up on the top eating the flow food, floating food, that was so thick yeah. that they couldn't get back in the water. The others just kept coming underneath and they were flopping on top of the herd of fish. So Phil owns the farm. Josh is the operation runner here. He's always getting things done around here. And uh, we're gonna pick out some dope koi over here and check them out. Let's see what we got. These are the real deals over real here. Deal. Oh, go ahead. That's, I'll tell you one thing, that's my favorite right there. This one? Yeah, because it's scaleless. It's beautiful. No, it's a real Japanese koi. I love the scaleless koi. gorgeous, like, yeah. you can't beat yeah. it. Completely real, real, scaleless. Real so like, these are all imported in? Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, they get they get to be monsters, man. These will get to that true big like, size, almost four four feet. 
Heck they're yeah. just, they're, I mean, you can see, you can just tell the quality. The, and all that light the color black, getting all the, the dark. The black is black, the orange is orange, the white is that milky, just perfect. Yeah. I mean, they're gorgeous. That's they're awesome. Perfect. I love that. Koi is like, one there's of my favorites. I have Koi in my back. Another skeleton against the wall. We got a tattoo of Koi in my back. You guys know that. This guy's got some scales, show you a little bit of difference. It's like half and half? Yeah, it's, it's pretty tough. And here's more over here. Look at them. We got my size. Boy, great. Yeah. We got a little bit of everything, man. Is that, is that bucket for, like, disinfecting? So that's gonna, that is our net soak. You know, we, we try to keep really good, you know, practices here. We yeah. don't, you don't want to, you know, even though our, our fish are good, we don't really have big problems. Yeah. You just, you just don't ever take a chance. There's no point in taking a chance. You want to soak your I nets. Agree. Even at home, you know. Yeah. Clean your nets off. Don't just yeah. let them sit there and dry out. You know, you never know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at all those What is buckets. that thing? That What's fat it? one. Oh, my God. Look at that one. That fat looking koi. Koi? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the vinyl black Oh, vinyls are cool. Yeah, they're neat. Oh, they're real pretty. All right. Let's keep it moving. That is a lot. And he was saying Josh made a lot of these rescues? Yeah. Yeah. This was a guy moving out of town that we brought him over. Oh yeah, he did. It's over here. I saw that earlier. Oh, you saw him? Yeah. Okay. And then there's another pool over there. Big old marble. A cow. These ones. Those are a mixture of koi <laughs> and arandas. They get the big head. The arandas, I brought them in when they were very small and grew them out. And they were originally Japan used to breed a lot of the arandas. They've been keeping goldfish for 2,000 years. And now Israel has become a big breeder of goldfish, and these little arandas in here were brought in from Israel. Which ones? Are, which ones did you say you wanted, Kenya? The red ones. The red ones. There's a lot of red ones. Point it out. Well, I can't now. They're all right here. You mean a, go a goldfish or a goldfish? I like that one with the big red head right there. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, a red, like that's a red. That's a red kid. Like that oh, we have a. He just gave me a kiss. I like that one. Oh, there you go. He got it. He yeah. just caught a fish yeah. with his hand. You get a plastic pocket? <laughs> you got a plastic pocket? <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> we'll come back no, for him. That one's pretty cool. Now this, notice. Go try. Wipe your hand first and show you see you grab one. Look at the tail. It's split. It's a, a tricolor. Tri oh, wow, yeah. When they come in, sometimes they'll have. Oh, they almost got it. Yeah, you got to go slow. Right here. Oh, you won't get a koi, that's for sure. Yeah, and the koi ain't yeah. going to do it. Are you scared of the water? Those are koi. No, I'm they're, they're scared of fish. Oh, You're scared of fish sometimes. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, so Josh was telling us a little bit ago that this pond right here is the overflows of all these ponds. So this has a ton of fish in here from years and years and years of just collecting in here. Being in here, yeah. And Josh said it's been a time that it's time that he has a pump now and he has to drain this whole entire thing. So do you guys think we should come back in a few weeks, drain this thing with Josh? And probably Phil, right? Phil, you're oh, gonna yeah, be here. For sure. Oh, you're gonna be here. He's gonna be in there. Bring as well. a bathing suit and old shoes. <laughs> Sounds good. It's gonna be about eight feet deep. We're gonna drain this whole entire thing and see how many crazy fish we can find in here. This is gonna be an oh, epic, it's gonna, it's epic, gonna be awesome, man. epic uh, fish gonna... catch. Look at the paku that are in there as well. You're Got 80, monsters 80 in there. I mean, those things are the size of my tire. Josh was saying, and I can see it. I yeah. sold those in 2004 to a lady. Yeah. And then she called Josh up and says, "Hey, I don't want these things anymore. So those are rescues." So yeah, this I, is just a mix of. Everything here, cichlids, koi, paku, arowanas, red tail catfish, all sorts of stuff. And Josh's favorite fish is in here, and he's coming right now. It's a big old red tail catfish, it's like well, puppy dog. And uh, we're gonna go feed him real quick. Or you want me to feed him here? I don't care. No, I'll bring him to this thing. Yeah, they all feed down there usually. But yeah, I don't, I don't think and you I guys understand. My favorite fish is huh? a sold fish. A sold fish. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> I tell you one thing. You guys don't know how excited I am about taking this out. This is going to be really, really cool. I love emptying out ponds and seeing it. It's like a mystery. I've seen oh, it's, what's yeah. on the bottom of this whole it's entire like thing. It's like Christmas morning, man. You never know what you're going to yeah. get. It's never, it's I love be... buying myself turtles, and then it's like I'm just waiting. I fed it. It's like Christmas every look day. Them yeah, look, mean, at them swim. No, <laughs> look at them run. 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 Look at this over here. Yeah, she's over there, oh, my God. So you imagine, you guys, draining this whole entire thing out is going to be an epic, epic video for you all. Look at that. Oh, that, Lord. That red tail's going to eat a koi. You no, know, that red tail. Uh, well, actually, the, the, arowana. Good. the arowana. The arowana. The arowana. He'll sneak in there, go real slow, and when there's a fish distracted for food, grab him. he will nail him. There's a big boy right there. Yeah. 
That's a big He's one. a rescue. Oh, yeah? From a 55 gallon. Oh, he's going to get I've seen him grab a koi that big. Oh, I guarantee. It hurts me. It hurts me, so I don't have any small koi in there anymore. And you notice along the edge all the little cichlids oh, and yeah. the mollies. They got them all down there. No, there's so much. There's so much stuff. There's here. probably over thousands and thousands and thousands of fish inside of here. He'll, he'll feed right you guys out. see the aviary he'll pond, how many little African cichlids are in all the crevices? Imagine they're this. They're getting two at a time. So what was going to be the point of emptying this thing out just to see what's Shut in here? Well, Shut definitely there's, there's, you know, there's, it's natural pond. So I mean, there's mud on the bottom. I want to clean it all out, and this will be back to crystal clear. Got it, it was very, very clear. Yeah. Until I rescued those paku, and they yeah, just they stir tore everything up. It. I mean, they tore. I think they're huge. They're monsters. Yeah. So they tore everything up. And it got a little, you know, and they ripped out all my plants. They ate all my plants in yeah. here. They're garbage cans. So, yeah. They're literally so garbage now cans. Now we're just going to go and make Are you going to keep them inside here or just oh, gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're, they're going to stay. stay. Yeah, we'll no, do it in stay. parts. This part is a little bit deeper. This is probably the top of my head, six foot yeah, deep. Yeah, this is the deep. And that area. part over there is probably, yeah, maybe five. When was the last time you guys think, or when was the last time you guys emptied this? Well, when I, when I, when I took the farm back and re redid it, it was dry. Oh, wow. If you had to water off for like three days, it all sucked in the ground. Got it. I'm not in the water table here. Got it. So the water table Look, here is about a... Walking koi. They're there. They're running yeah. for you. <laughs> that one's pretty. So it's been a little while. Yeah, oh, well, two years long. now, but we didn't take the mud out when we refilled it. Got it. We just started. Well, and it wasn't... When we first reopened back to the public, it wasn't, it wasn't all the way full to this. Got it. It was... I would say about half. It was dry. Yeah, it was. When I, mean, I got it, it was, back, it was, by the time you got here, it may have filled up because I had, half. I had put a new pump in and everything and started growing other fish. And, wow. And Josh got here in the middle of me building all the walkways and this stuff because I had to tear everything out. Epic. Well, well we have, have a lot, lot more to do. We're hoping to put a fountain a lot more there someday. Okay. It's a lot of work, guys. Remember, it's a lot of work. Yep. It's a lot of work. Having fish isn't just to have them and keep them in a cage and... Josh, it's a lot of work. You got to feed them, take care of them. You get two fill out. Toss them in there. There's small pockets in here. Oh, yeah, I see the small. There's a lot of stuff in here. It's really neat. I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek of what oh, wow. Tyreek Hill is going to do for the dolphins this year. All right? <laughs> see the bass? Yeah. Ready? Oh, oh. She, did, she did the other one paid attention. She didn't pay attention. Ready? Go ahead. Of course. Camera shy now? Yep, it's always Look like that. Look at you, back up. Look at you. You ready? Just go. Put it the big you ready? Go. Oh my god. Oh okay. my goodness. On it. Willie Mays wasn't even that good. On it. So this is Josh's like fun pond. There's a bunch of predators and different yeah, things in here. Just, just a little bit. And it's just a big pet we do pond. A lot of, we do a lot of educational tours and okay. stuff like that. We um, teach um, kids um, about um, the so fish. So you guys are open so. to the public. So these, if anybody here wants to come here and see the fish, yeah. call Thursday. you. Come oh, yeah. by. Definitely yeah. come Thursday, by. Thursday, Friday, oh, Just come Saturday, by. Oh, just come yeah, by, you guys. You're more than welcome to be here, guys. Check the hours. Around. Make sure you're here only when they're open. And uh, yeah, come by. All right. So Josh and I, we're going to keep on walking. But before we go anywhere else, you guys know we love turtles. I got turtle shirts on. And they had a pool here that collapsed or what do they call these things? These pools, it's these concrete. Con concrete. concrete. Yeah. But down inside of here, when he were at Aquashella, he got two blackwood turtles, and they're down in here somewhere, and they're awesome turtles. I told you guys all the time, check out the blackwood turtles. No, they're doing great, man. They're here. They're happy. They're living their life. I got a big sulcata in here, too. Living life as well. Yeah, it's Buddy. It's my little buddy. There you are. So, no, so really well. Josh, what other fish are we going to go see? I don't know, man. Let's, uh, I don't know. This is like, you guys, no one's seen this on YouTube before, no, so... We were the first ones of Blake Exotic Enterprise. We say it a lot. Whenever we go with Birds Exotics of the World, we go to different zoos, behind scenes and all that. This is pretty much like behind scenes. No one's seen any of this. And Josh, starts, right there. Look at all the little babies. All those little guys. Oh, works. And then everything else happens. And then everything else happens. And they, or literally, just those containers. I mean, those concrete things is all they need for breeding. That's it. Let me ask you a question. If there's a big rain, I guess that's the overflow over there? Yeah, so all of our ponds are in the overflow. So it's got the, the in comes in here, and then it overflows out every single pond. That consistent way. all day long? And it either flow? goes, yeah, consistent 24 God. hours, you run it. And it either goes to the big pond in the back, like you saw a little while ago, yeah. where all the monsters are, or it goes to like another side canal over to the left, and it goes to another lake in the back. Yeah. So we just, it's constantly flowing. There's little minnows and stuff in the canal, so we don't get mosquitoes, nothing like that. You know, Heck South yeah. Florida, we get mosquitoes. Oh, yeah. If you don't have fish in the pond, you're going to get mosquitoes. Tons of koi. So you still have those big guppies you were talking about? Are they here or no? Oh yeah, I got some. I got some big guppies. All right, let's go see those big guppies. So they were they 
did records of the biggest guppies in what United States? You said? Yeah, we we won some we won some awards for that. We we did uh, we won, uh some awards like the largest domestic guppies. Oh wow! Stuff like that. I mean, guppies are nice, man. You guys think we should bring some guppies home for the aviary? What do you guys think? Put it down in the comments. There's a lot of different guppies. Kenya's just feeding all the fish food. By the time we leave here, oh, we're not going to have any more fish food. Kenya's, Kenya's going to... We're going to have to buy you bags. Man, I don't have to feed for a week. Now. Yeah. She's kind of got it all down. She's just going around throwing food everywhere. Yeah, so those are the ones we have in my pond, in my aviary. Those are the green sail fins you are saying? Yeah, green sail fin mollies. The tails are real blue. They get huge. Yeah. So they actually... What's cool about them was a little different. Um, they actually change sex. Okay. So Interesting. So that's a big, big female there. Yeah. She is going to start changing into male. This time of year, all my big females will start turning into male. They'll get the big high, the hyphen, and that's why they get so big. That's are they are the those those are tiger ostriches right there? Yeah, we got some baby tiger ostriches growing out in here. This thing's um, awesome. This is their home. There's about there's about a hundred. It's pretty. It's a pretty big pond. So you guys ever want a tiger Oscar, You got to make sure you have a pond this big. If you don't have a pond this big, just <laughs> yeah. don't buy one. All right. So we are scooping. Well, Josh is scooping a ton of these absolutely insane. Oh, insane fish right here and we're gonna pick and hand pick these guys out and we're gonna put these inside the aviary in the wetland and uh hopefully they start breeding and we're gonna have a crap time we're gonna have some really 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 nice color inside of there so um oh, they'll Kenya. probably start breeding on your way home let's be honest <laughs> guppies, oh, for real? So guppies like don't that? yeah they don't so they don't like, waste any guys, time so they're like my shirt i like that one that black and red one out of all the colors she's gonna pick yeah right the, that, that one that's the one you wanted well, I, that's the first one. How many are we doing? I don't know. Get like 10. That was pretty. You don't like that one? 10 is you cool. You don't have get anything like... red. You have a lot of blue. I like yeah, blue. blue like that. And the guppies. There's a blue neon one. The, the sailfish ones are freaking See crazy blue. blue. Oh, yeah. Blue no, no, they'll get Blue ones with the neon on the head. Yeah. That one like that, right? Yeah. Let me see like that turquoise. Yeah, that one's pretty. That one's pretty. What about a yellow one, boys? I'm going to A yellow one? All right. I'm going to grab a yellow one. I'll get this one right here. Come on, listen up. Ooh, that one's oh, grab too. it up, man. Look at that one. Oh, yeah. Go hunting. Go ahead, buddy. Mm -hmm. That one's cool. Three. All right. There orange. We go. Orange? What are we going to get? The whole rainbow? Yeah. Oh, right there. That was pretty. Oh, yeah. yeah oh. Go one. get that blue one, too. Bro, I'm impressed, bro. You're hired. <laughs> yeah. you come here and catch fish. All right, who's next? Snake skins. You got, I mean, you got everything in there. There's a little bit of black ones. The black ones are going to be pretty fun. Get this one right here. That's a cool one. Cool looking, right? Yeah. We're at five right now. We got five more to choose. Phil, pick one. Which one do you think? Well, let me see what you got in there. I kind of like that one right there. You see the one with the neon color? This one right here? Yeah. Just like a gold snake skin. Oh, that is cool. Ooh, that is good. Get both of those. <laughs> Can you say get both of those? So that's seven right there. Ooh, that one. What color? Wait, it has like a pattern on the tail. That one? Yeah. Look at that one. Yeah. They're bouncing. That's eight, right? Eight. Oof, look at this one down there in the bottom. Red one? Yeah, this one right here. Ooh, that one's pretty. Yeah, that one's nice. There we are. All right, so now we're going to grab one more. All right, so what's your first one? All right, there we go. There we go. That was our last one. <laughs> Did you hear what you just said? Right. He's like, all right, so now we need females. So that was just males. Yeah, that's I, only males. Oh, all right. And so uh, now we're the females. The females are just ugly, right? Nothing will happen with that. They Got just it. look good, but you're not going to get any babies, nothing like that. There's, there's no magic. You know, no magic happening there. Nothing, nothing. Right. nothing like the shirt. Make sure you guys are checking out the merch. You can light You'll candles, see. play music. <laughs> gonna Nothing's going to happen. Like so these, all these ugly ones are the girls. Well, yeah, females so how, oh my in the goodness. fish aren't very pretty. So let me ask you a question. How yeah. many boys to a girl does normally eat with this? Or one male I, could just fertilize do, a ton? I mean, yeah, one male can just keep going. But I always do like trios, so two females to a male. It'll, it'll work out better for you. Um, these females are nice, though, because 
I mean, even though they are they are ugly, they still have like have nice the pretty color. tail. You know, they'll get the color in the so, tail. Personally, like I'm gonna say right now, I know you guys are all with the fish. They almost look like mosquito fish right there. Oh sure, yeah, yeah. They look just. I like mean, a they're fish. all related. So will you will they mix breed with mosquitoes and then I'll oh, start yeah. having a lot a lot of this things. stuff will just kind of just go mix breed just like I the mean, back pond just like the back you like they look good all right so I guess I don't know you tell me what we're supposed to do put a handful in there I mean yeah I would just do like uh like you did the last like your one my just grab yeah, one yeah. all right I'm gonna just grab one you guys like is that okay that's yeah that's good. good right there yeah. all right don't move don't move don't move and we're done. <laughs> So those will, you know, you'll have about a thousand by the time you get home. Yeah, so sounds you, good. You got a little bit of a drive. So. All right, well, just remember, if we have too many, we'll just bring them back. Well, there you go. It works. <laughs> just, put a, just put a fish in with it. There you are. Look at that. We got a whole breeding colony of, what's the name of these guppies? Our minnows? Guppies. Guppies. I mean, they're just they're standard guppies. You got the, the fancier guppies from... Um, I mean, they come from all over now, but most of the time we're getting out of like Sri Lanka and stuff like that. Dope. That's where you get those real true colors. They, they, yeah. They're so vibrant. Yeah. Interesting. Sri Lankan turtles. There we are. Yeah. All right. So. Oh, you. Oh, we're, we're getting more we're, fish. We're missing her. We're gonna fish. get mollies we, now. You better not oh, mess that up. Why? I'm gonna get mollies and then your fish. Let me show you some nice why not mollies. my fish first? All right, get your fish. Let's first. get. Let's get her fish. All right, so before Kenya beats both of us up, we're gonna go get her fish. Yeah. And then we'll go get some more fish. So let's do that. What's All right. Like? Let's go, Kenya. See, the only way, oh, you just said it right there. I was gonna say the only way we're gonna get your fish is you know what pond it is from here. Can you remember? You don't, you don't even know. All right, let's just go find it. Start, go. Go pick it out. It's the last. It's the, it's the second it's, to last. It's, it's, all right, I think, she's right. I think, I think so. I think she's Second's right. the last one. There you are. She has an eye to the one where she needs to go. She spotted that thing in the beginning. So yeah, she's like, can, can we get that fish? All right, let's do it. Did you have fun feeding the fish? Remember look at all this. Oh, my God. Look at that albino looking one. Are you still filming? Yeah. Remember, guys, you can come here and feed the fish, too. You're more than welcome to come. There you are. I'm going to feed the kids. Like, yeah. you know? There you are. If you can't keep fish, you can come here and feed the fish, and there's enough fish to get fed all the time everybody wants food all day long check them out see everybody everybody's hungry yeah i, I train them to do that there you are <laughs> they love food kenya you're almost out of fish food you got to get it to get your fish all right so which one are you getting uh, you don't know oh yeah they all are we got a lot of fishies. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Almost. almost. All right, Kenya. You got to pick the one you want. I can barely see. Can barely see now. Second. Well, it's not the koi, so we can start getting rid of some koi. These are all like koi I've handpicked. They're all gorgeous. Perfect. I think any koi is gorgeous. They're all different yeah, in every yeah, type. They're so, so cool. Come on. That one's kind of pretty. That calico one? No. No, not that one. Not that one. That one's nice. That one's pretty. Do you want that one? Yeah, I like that one. All right. You sure? You're, that? you're only getting two. Oh, I'm getting two now? Oh, you know what, though? You got you got to be the one. Yeah, you're grabbing these things. Come on, you got to get it. Let's go. I don't think I can. You'll be all right. I'll be nervous. That wasn't even the one you wanted before. This is pretty, though. Yeah, you I think you two now. I, I think you just said any of them. You said two. All so right. It needs to stay in the water. It can't breathe. <laughs> yeah, they like water. Yeah, they can't walk on land like you're saying. You like that one? I don't know. Is it pretty? <laughs> I can't it's your make fish. Yeah, she's horrible about making decisions. Okay. Oh, oh no, this one. I think you're having issues yeah. over here. This one? You got it? Wait, is this one pretty? Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Guys, tell me. I don't know. Now. Guys, tell me. Well, what? It's, it's, it's the I think that one with the red head is freaking dope. Okay. That one? Okay. All right, let's take that one. Throw it in the bucket. Grab it. What do I do? Put, Put it in the bucket. Not on the floor. There, there you Not go. Not on the floor. Not yeah. in your pocket either. Yeah. Unless you have a plastic bag like Phil said. You said I could get one more? Yes, get one more. I said you got this one right here. Is that white one? Yeah, yeah they cross. Look at that one. That's pretty good. What do you think? Put it in the water. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I love which, it. I love which one it. you want? I think that one's cool. You don't like this one? Just look at the fins on that thing. Pick another one. Let's go. One got all day. 
This yeah, that's the same color, isn't it? It's the same thing. Yeah, it's kind of the same color. This one? Maybe that's a koi. Okay, that what about koi. the all red one? All right, then get an all red one. Oh, you don't like it. Like, you know, you... Uh, that one's pretty cool. That one's pretty cool. Yeah, get that one. Yeah. yeah, that one's cool. You got it? Go ahead. Two hands. All right, you got all two. All right. Good? All right. Perfect. No, you gotta do that like SpongeBob thing, like three hours later. Yeah, literally three hours later on this one. Picking two fish. I'm yeah. proud though, you caught them, you know? There you are. Now they're special to you because you actually gotta do it yourself. Heck yeah. We kinda look the same. <laughs> 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 All right, let's, what are we getting here? <laughs> they're nice, no, they're not bad, they're cute. They're pretty. I'm actually gonna feed that one. Oh, now you're gonna take care of them? Nobody takes care of them. All right, so now we're gonna go get these types. Really? Let's do it. All right, guys, so it was a great day here at Summerland Tropical Fish Farm with Josh and Phil. So make sure you guys give their uh, Instagram a follow. Make sure you guys are giving this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Put the post notifications on. And make sure you guys put it down in the comments. Should we come back and help Josh take out that whole entire pond? Well, not take it out. Drain it and see what's inside of it. Let me know down in the comments and uh, give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys all later. Peace out, everyone. Take care, everybody. We made it home. Me and Kenya are starving. But all animals' lives matter first. So we're going to make sure we go acclimate these fish real quick. We're going to go run down the road, go grab some food, and then uh, release these fish. So let's put these fish inside of our wetland like we were going to do and we are still going to do. And let's put them over here on this side, Kenya. Yep, there you go. Kenya's uh, hangry. You know how that happens. So, yep, we got all these guys, and Kenya has all those guys. And... Um, I think put them in a little bit deeper, right there. What's the difference? Told you, hangry. Um, you know, gets a little bit more water. Uh oh, they're here, and there we are. Let's go get some food, and we'll come back for these fish. All right, so we're back. Let's grab the bags, bring them back over here, so we can release them on this side because we don't want to release them by the waterfall, and then they end up on the bottom. We want them to get used to this area, and then they'll stay in this area just like that's everybody else that's over here. No, you can pick it up. It's just two seconds. So let's see what happens. Hopefully they learn fast to stay away from the ducks. And then we are good. So Ken, you're doing the releasing? I'm doing the releasing. Can I do one and you do one? Yeah, one second. So here we go. They've been in here for a good while now. They have a bunch of... Uh, Sailfin, guppies, and shiners, and a few cichlids that I don't even know how the heck they got up here. And uh, yeah, well, but to be honest, I only put one pair of Salvini cichlids in here, and there's a ton of other fish in here, and I did not put them in here. They all salmon their way up here. I don't even know what the freak happened. But check it out, check a look, take a look. We got them all in there. Ton of colorful fish in there. This uh, wetland is about to come to life, and it's gonna be a literally colorful rainbow of fish so uh here we go you guys oh yeah so now we are gonna have colors in this whole entire thing everybody's gonna mix breed it's gonna be crazy and it's gonna be amazing hopefully in the next month this thing is gonna be an absolute colorful paradise of guppies and minnows and that's what i want this is ideal for them and then on top of that nothing to eat them so that's the great and best thing about it all so, uh, well, things can't eat them. Trumpeters can eat them and the ducks can eat them, but it's deep enough that they won't be able to get caught. But we're gonna switch the camera over and Kenny's gonna release these. All right, go ahead. Let's get a take, let's take a look. How colorful these guys are, you guys. Absolute gems, uh -oh. real, real bright blue. Uh-oh. No, get that away. Get that away. Poncho, get away. Ready? Look at these colors. Here we go. Watch these, my. Oh yeah, baby. We got colors in there. All the sail fins and everybody's checking everybody out. Hopefully it doesn't become a, a fish frenzy paradise, but uh, let's do it. It's gonna, it's, it's looking different. Everyone looks like it's going crazy. This, uh, Mike, can you do me a favor? Give me the Go inside over there into the fish room and there's that white bag with blue feed. Get a scoop of it so we can throw it in here and feed all the fish for everybody. Please and thank you. Look at how cute this one is. Oh yeah. Throwing some fish food, some shiners, 
so the shiners can eat the fish food with everybody else in here. Uh, we actually still have a ton of shiners in here and a ton of fathead minnows that still are in here from the first time we added fish inside of here a long time ago. But um, all the fish look great. Um, I, they're over there on the ledge where I really didn't want them to be at. But um, I'm going to see if I can scoop them or scare them back. Some are here. Yeah, look at them all over here. Let's go see. Run, fishies, go back that way. So I don't care if they go down over there, but if they go down there, there's bigger fish down there and they're gonna get probably bullied. So I want the colony to really uh, establish up over here so that they can breed up here. This is the more safer zone. And then obviously there's gonna be a lot going down there, but as long as I have a good establishment over here, little by little they go down way, then they'll just take over the whole entire thing, which would be neat. But for now, let's see what happens. Cross our fingers and we'll stay tuned, you guys, for the upcoming videos. And hopefully, we'll have a freaking ton of beautiful mollies, guppies, and all sorts of different things here. And another great shout out Summerland Tropical Fish Farms. And uh, can't wait to go out there again and go check out their place and go and dump and take all that water out from that place. It's gonna be an epic freaking time. Stay tuned. Look at the trumpeter. Look at the trumpeter. Uh oh. Get out of there, bro. He's like, what are those colorful things? I'll see you guys later. Peace out.